In today's episode, Musketeers, I expand our army of animals by adding a frontline attacking bird and getting an Anki and a Therizinosaur to help us with resource gathering. With the party expanding, I've taken the necessary steps to move into a bigger base location for our security. One for all, and all for one. Hmm, okay, so I wonder if that Therizinosaur is still over there. I'm actually going to go ahead and check that. Because if this Therizinosaur is still over here, we may go ahead and actually get that one. Oh wow, is it all the way over here, is it? Uh, yes, so there it is. And there's a little monkey, actually. I might see if I can get that monkey later, because that'll be pretty baller. Yeah, okay, you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and lead this Therizinosaur into that uh, trap we have. Hey, buddy, how we going? Can I get your attention, please? <gasps> That's the way. Just follow me. <laughs> I love this. I think I should have enough arrows and stuff for this one. I probably should have checked that before leading him into this trap. Okay, cool. So is he about to... Yep, there he goes. Cool, he is in. And, uh, yeah, I'll go and see how much stuff I have because he's a level 55. So I'll have a quick look at and see how much we'll probably need to tame this guy as well. Oh, he's so close yet so far away. <laughs> Look, he's twitching. He's like, oh, come on. Come on. Oh, he's giving up. All right, so a Therizinosaur would be really nice for the wood. They, The carry weight is terrible, but at least they will get me lots of wood. And I don't need it to move very far. So let's see what we can do. Yeah, we're probably going to need it like at least 121 or something. I think there should be enough arrows, so we'll just leave it at that. And the rest of them will leave here. So let's see if we can go ahead and knock out that creature. It's still stuck in here, and it looks very displeased with this uh, entire situation. Hey, buddy, how are we? Arrow to the face. <laughs> it's very upset right now. And I am an atrocious marksman. While I'm here, I'm just going to quickly whistle passive for that bird, because as soon as this guy attacks the, you know, the trap, it's going to fly in and try to protect my interests. Which means it's going to try and kill this bird. And that will be not in my interest. That almost happened to me on my 200 days um, Arc Survival Evolve Challenge. And that was with a 120... Wait, that was with the 85 Therizinosaur. Which is a very high fine on the island. <gasps> oh no, I shot it after the fact, didn't I? Oh, that's gonna... Okay, you know what? That's actually fine. This one doesn't need to be amazing with its attack or anything like that it just needs to be able to collect wood and these things can collect a lot of wood it's the carry weight that you have to be worried about let me, if i can actually access its inventory I have to access its tail apparently yeah the weight on this thing's 430 so it's only got more carry weight than me but it collects thousands of wood at the at the right time so i think we'll be pretty good there all right so with tinto this one does have enough major berries and we have a little bit of extra narcotics as well uh, just wait for this one it's gonna be a bit of a mission because we we need to get some stone and all that sort of stuff as well now i wonder what the actual respawn rates of resources are on this map for myself i may be changing them in a little bit actually 11.5 right so that is going to be a bit of maintenance on this guy i think now, I need to check where all these resources are. And if that's the case, what I could potentially do, actually, is fly around with the bird carrying the Dodicarus. And I think we might just go ahead and do that. Yes, okay, so we can take everything off this guy. Luckily, we can fit everything onto this uh, smithy. Put your spoiled meat onto the smithy? Absolutely. All right, where's Dotty? Dotty is just over here. And, yeah, let's go collect some stone. I like the fact that you can just genuinely carry your creature around and it just whacks things. It's like playing whack-a-mole. Or whack-a-rock. Come on, there's, there's, a, there's a chunk of stone there. Or is your inventory already too full? So that's the thing. If, it's, if the inventory is too full, it will obviously stop doing that. So let's see what the inventory is. Yeah, that's already way too much. We want to increase this one's weight by, like... Thousands. Surprisingly enough, the Dodicarus is actually a pretty good swimmer. 
And amazingly, this guy already has 600 weight, so that's actually really good. Actually, you know what we can do? Just take all the stone off the bird, and just toss it all onto Dotty, and then have the bird carry Dotty, because Dotty's carry carrying everything at a reduced capacity. Yeah, so that's all the weight there. And then this bird can happily carry Dotty. Amazing. I'm probably also going to look at getting a Anki and a, another carry bird and a attacking bird. If I can do all of that in this episode, that would be fantastic. All right, so we need to put all this stuff onto here. Uh, we just need the metal ingots, actually. And we have plenty of metal actually smelting in here. So yeah, we can actually go ahead and... Actually, speaking of which, I don't think I can take the Therizinosaur out of that trap. I kind of have to destroy that trap, don't I? Okay, that's fair. Alright, so we have everything we need for that replacement. What I might do while I wait for this bird to actually tame up, because I want to use all that stone that's on Dotty right now, is I might go ahead and attack some trees to actually level this guy, because that is a good way to level your creatures, you know, in the beginning. In the beginning. In the beginning. Alright, so I've just did a little bit of deforestation, as you can see there. And what are the levels on this guy at the moment? Oh, an amazing three. Well, that just seemed pointless, didn't it? But then again, this guy is already leveled a little bit anyway. <gasps> oh. <laughs> That's how I hiccup, Musketeers. That is how I hiccup. Okay, well, while we are here, um, I'm going to see if there's any of that spoiled meat around. Because I would like to get some more narcotics, actually, as well. Oh, we have like over a hundred anyway, so I think that'll be just fine. Going to go ahead and collect a whole bunch of extra narcotics because I'm pretty sure we're going to go and tame some other birds and all that sort of stuff. Okay, I think we have enough narco berries here for now. Oh, I actually forgot to split the stacks. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I split all and uh, oh, I just missed it. Damn it. I guess while this guy's actually doing his thing, I'm just going to chop down a whole lot of wood. Because this is something we're going to need again as well. Mm. I hate when I'm encumbered. Ooga chaka, ooga chaka. Uh, do you mind... Tr I would hit you, but because you're level 135, you may pose a slight problem for me. Okay, that's all the wood that she can carry. Oh, what is it? It's a, it's a he. Le carry. Alright, come on, bird. Oh, yeah, he's very heavy. But he's literally doing his uh, purpose. Le carry. He's carrying all my burdens. Look my guys are sliding. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Slip and slide the eye of your mind. I've never actually seen this uh, fish net before. I've no idea how it works. I might give this an actual go. Could be fun. I mean, if I do find some fish. There we go. Excellent. So, what do we call a Therizinosaur bird? Hey, buddy. How are we? It's very huge. I can tell you that much. I don't know. Theza. Can we call Theza? I don't say why not. Hey, Theza. How you going, mate? <laughs> right, excellent. So, we are mounted on this guy. I want to see if I can destroy just one of these walls to let him out. See if he can fit through that. Can you get through? Yes, you can. Excellent. So I only have to replace one side of it, which is actually really appreciated. I was thinking maybe I'd have to destroy two, at least. Uh, these guys are actually really good at collecting fiber as well. I mean, you right-click and he does his little jazz hands and collects nothing but, you know, that much fiber, which is amazing. But, and see, one hit, he's encumbered with 700 wood. That is insane. Alright, let's see here. So we got plenty of wood, we got plenty of stone. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make like a whole bunch of stone walls and stone uh, window frames as well. So I can actually go ahead and make the base a little bit more secure on the inside there. Alright, so we have everyone just sitting here posedly next to each other. Uh, we need a whole bunch of thatch as well, which we have right here. Okay, I, uh, that's my peanut. What I want to do is quickly go ahead... And just have another look at the uh, base that we are going to build up. Because I do want to build windows as well. At how many windows I think I might want. 
you know, I think we're going to be fine. Let's just make a whole bunch of stuff and just go from there. So I'll start with maybe making uh, 10 windows or make, let's make 20 windows. I think we'll do that. We'll do that. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and actually make about 20 of these to begin with. And make, you know, the rest walls at the moment. And then we'll just go ahead and place down this first round of these uh, building materials and see where we are at that point. And of course, my ears is always going to listen for everything that's over there. What's over there? Can't see it. What we're going to do the old strategy of placing down window frames and then window or stone doors on top of them for that little bit of extra light. I reckon that'll look pretty good. I think I might tell ears to, you know, stop piping up because he's really starting to annoy me. Alert settings. Disable. Thank you. Okay, you have done your bit. You have warned me thoroughly enough of that oviraptor that's over there. That is actually not a threat to us. Thank you. Alright, so we have about 20 of each of those. I think this is going to be enough for now. Can I place all these on him without encumbering him? Yes, I can. Okay, let's see where we get up to by building all these things onto the base now. First thing I want to do is actually place down these window frames and where they would go. So... I mean, if the base is going to come in, you know, one in or something like that, should I make it against the wall? Yeah, I'll make it against the actual wall. I'm thinking maybe we'll place two walls here and then there'll be two on top. So it's, you know, it just uniformly looks nice. Over here, we're just going to need the one. Actually, we could probably carry all those door frames on us as well. There we go. Yes, we can. I am strong. That's what I mean by placing the doors there as well. So you got this window and a little bit of extra light here as well. So that's going to look very nice. Plus, I mean, we're still in the middle of this forest here. We need an, as much light as we can possibly get. Nice. Um, on this side, I'm probably going to get rid of these two. Um, or well, these three thatch foundations. Okay. We might have like a secret doorway here, actually, because, yeah, that's going to be sick. I think I'll put like a secret doorway just here as well. Now, I'm not a master builder, but I do build something that looks at least secure. The key word there is looks secure. Is it secure? I have no idea. I guess we'll find out in due time. And then this one should be fine just to do that, I guess. Um, yeah, that goes straight into the wall, so... Okay, the, the wall is part of my defense. Okay, awesome. So we've run out of stone walls and all that. So that's like the basis of what we're going to be doing in this uh, place. I'm looking forward to actually taking out all these shrubs in here. Because they are going to get in my way. So I think I need another eight uh, windows. Maybe, yeah, maybe another eight windows or so. We'll see how we go. Okay, so that's all the wood that we uh, wood and stone that we've had. And this place is looking a lot more secure now, actually, so that's pretty good. I'll probably make it full high just so it encompasses these doors. And then I'll probably have a second level as well because I do plan on having a refinery forge in here at some point. And that thing is like five high from, from memory. But while I'm going to wait for some rocks to respawn, I'm actually going to go ahead and see if I can tame either another bird or an Anki and hello Triceratops. What do you want, my friend? Is that right? Really? Alright, so the two creatures that I'm going to be aiming for is either a Anki and another RG bird. Either a high level one or a low level one. It doesn't actually bother me. If I see a high level one, fantastic. Because I wouldn't mind having another carry bird. That's a uh, ringed one, isn't it? Yes, it is. Nice. Hmm. Am I actually going to go ahead and fly all the way over there for that single... You know what? Yes, I feel like going on a little adventure. I don't know, it was calling my name, so I think we're going to go for it. Another thing I want to find is um, a scorpion, or so something that has chitin on it, because it's been mentioned in the comments that for that cinema crops creature, you have to tame it with chitin, and it has to be in your last inventory slot. So if I do see, you know, creatures that have chitin on them, which I don't think I have yet, I will quickly... Uh, deal with them so I can uh, obtain some chitin and maybe next time when we see that creature we can have a go at taming it see how that goes 
There is some mountainous area areas around here, which is actually really nice. That actually looks like a cinema crops right there. Is it? It is. There you go. That's a finally a cinema crops. I can finally have it in my vision, in my peripheral. Okay, let's see what we can get. Uh, oh my god, what is that? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, you're not joking. <laughs> Dottie is going to be completely decked out with that. The thing is though, let's, let's have a look at the saddle. That is 4,000 hide. Ooh, that's actually very doable. If I'm not... That is actually very doable. 119 metal is not expensive and the hide... At some, you know, at some point in the game, you're just swimming and hide. So I think that is actually very doable. Oh, bounty. But we actually do have a Ascendant Sabertooth saddle as well. And that is actually nothing to sneeze at. So yeah, from above, this is what it's starting to look like. It's looking pretty nice. It's going to take a little bit of resources to, you know, actually complete it, but... We'll have to do it in bits and pieces, especially as we have to wait for resources to respawn. But because I've readjusted that re readjusted that respawn rate, I think it should be quicker as well. We'll be going back to the same location over on the other island, of course. La Carie, I need you to carry me to our destination, my friend. Why, you fool! Fly! Now, if it's an Anki that we find, we can just pick it up and bring it all the way home. But if it's a high-level bird... You know what we could do? We could see if we can find both, because if we can find both, I can tame the bird tame the bird first. Let it just chill there. Go find the Anki, pick it up, and then do that in one go flying back. If that is the case, we'll do exactly that. So we do have a 135 bird there, but it seems to be stuck in a um, battle for eternity, because even last episode these two were fighting each other and they're still duking it out. You know, I've never tamed one of these uh, Kentrosauruses. What are they good for? I know they impale you. Or is that a Stegosaurus? Or is it both? And I love it when a beam does this. That's the second time this exact beam has got me. Ha <laughs> ha, you got me. Speaking of the devil, there's a bird. Uh, that is a, a 145. Yes, I think so. We do have quite a distance to actually lead him, so... So it should still take me about 20 minutes to tame this bird. Okay, this is going to take a fair while. Now he is slightly bloody from that fight with the Sabertooth, which is actually really unfortunate, but you know what? It's still the bird we're going to tame. It's got this little orange mohawk. <laughs> Come on, buddy. I'm yours for the picking. All you got to do is catch up. You almost got me, buddy. All right, cool. You can have a bit of a attack there. Just to the, towards this destination, my friend. There's nothing to be alarmed about. And let's get this one's attention. Gotcha! Ah. Uh, yes, that's open and that's closed. Excellent. Let's just get a nice run-up. Oh, I'm having deja vu and a bit of frame lagging there. That's fine. Come on, buddy. <laughs> oh, my... <gasps> you son of a... Okay, okay. <clears throat> that didn't go according a plan to plan. We can try this again, it's fine. Come on, buddy. Ow. Hey, that should have worked this time. It did. <sighs> okay, so because you are slightly bloody, my friend, I'm gonna let you just uh, rest. The key word is rest. In this place that you literally can't land. So, um, I'm just gonna leave you to it, mate. <laughs> Alright, uh, Musketeers, I'll be back when this guy is in a better place to, um, accept my hospitality. I mean, while this guy is, you know, um, uh, tiring himself out, I could go and get this beam, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Don't you go nowhere, mate. I'm back for you. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> having a casual nap while this guy's just fighting for his life because he's a 145 i really don't want to start shooting him prematurely because if he does die my god that is oh wow that is one hell of a scowl <laughs> wow i think he's pretty much saying i will end you 
Okay, I've been waiting for at least 10 minutes for this bird. I'm gonna say it's it's now or never. I mean, if he's gonna die now, he, he was gonna die regardless. So I'm gonna make sure these are all headshots, though. Ooh, there's an Anki there. I'll check out what his level is in a second. Oh, oh, there he goes. Excellent. Fantastic. That was actually really smooth. My god, he's nearly dead. Okay, so 2,000 health. He's got very poor health. Um, the melee damage is uh, average. The stamina is actually quite nice. Uh, the weight is higher than usual. You know what? I don't mind a, a, an attacking bird that has a little bit higher than normal attack. So, yeah, I think this is going to do just fine. Now, this guy. What level is he? 85? Mm. We'll see what we can do. All right, so I know there's a Rex down here. Oh, there he is. Speak up the devil. I think he's a little bit stuck. Don't worry, friend. I shall help you. I shall solve this problem for you. Yeah, so I think when we actually go home, we'll just quickly pick up this Anki. Because it's on the way. And we don't need a hugely high level one for it anyway. Hey, so we have this bird tamed. And I'm going to go ahead and call this one Cloud. Alright, let's check out Cloud's stats here. So Cloud has... I mean, that's actually not bad uh, health. Uh, that's pretty good stamina. I'll probably get that to 2,000. Uh, the melee damage is respectable. And the weight, I think, didn't go up. So yeah, that's not a bad tame. Excellent. Alright, so the temporary residence of this Anki. Or for this Anki. Until it joins the Musketeers. <laughs> Plop. Alright, mate. I'll be back for you in a second. At least unlike the Dodicarus, this guy doesn't keep hiding in his shell because he can't. He doesn't have a shell. I mean, he's got a shield, but not a shell. Hey, buddy. And of course, we're taking this guy so we can get ourselves lots of metal. There we go. That's an easy knockout. Take all these arrows back. And okay, let's see here. So 2200. Uh, its weight is 300. All these guys always start with 300 weight, so I think we're good to go there. Right, so I'm pretty sure this one will tame out with just 88 uh, things, and we'll just leave this on. So while we're waiting for her to tame, I'm going to go ahead and get some extra turtles, because we do need to get that keratin. Actually, what we could do instead is actually take out the cloud instead and actually level them this way. Hey, buddy. So this one does 99 damage with a hit. I think the other one does 73. So yeah, it's, it is stronger than the other bird. Which is nice, which is expected. So these two lone boys that have been up here this entire time, I think it's time to uh, relieve them of this uh, torture. Excellent, I think that should be the amount of keratin we need for that extra saddle. Alright, so Le Carie has her saddle, or his saddle again. And we're good to go, fantastic. Go check up on the other Anki over there. I haven't actually seen any Alpha Raptors or any Alpha Rexes on this map yet. Uh, I hope I don't see one in this forest that I'm building in at the moment because Alpha creatures are the only ones and a couple of few others that can break through stone. So I'm hoping that's not the case. So once this guy's actually tamed up, I'll probably do another round of, you know, wall building. But then I'm probably going to start putting some stuff into the actual base as well, like my, my bed again, the refinery forges, all that, all that other good stuff. Hey, there we go. So we have ourselves a female Anki. So, Ankleta. We're going to call this one Ankleta. Okay. Let's quickly pick her up out of this trap. And there we go. Okay, so we have this huge posse of creatures with us at the moment. I'm thinking, yeah, we're going to do a bit of a resource gathering session and just get that base a little bit more fortified. And then I can probably go ahead and dump everything or everyone inside the base. So let's go ahead and actually do that. At least these rocks in the, in the ocean are very easy to collect. Come on, buddy. <laughs> it's like submerged. It's like, boss, what do you think you're doing? You're going to drown me. It's like, I'm not bringing you up until you get that rock, mate. Okay, so Dottie is completely encumbered right now. Okay, so this one's just encumbered now completely. How much weight is that? Yeah, oh my god, that's so much. Righto. Let's go ahead and make all the items that we need. We're just going to make a whole lot of walls until we can make no more walls at all. Are you 
actually serious. This Tyrannodon just landed, pushed me away from everything while I'm encumbered. Fuck you, bird. Are you serious? I'm going to shoot that bird at some point after I've, you know, somehow gone out of this mess. But well, we do have that 140 Pegamastix over here, so I think I'm going to have to go kill it because I do not like those rats. Alright, so we got 71 walls at the moment. Let's go ahead and see if I can actually place down these walls and see how many or how much that actually covers. Because then I can probably slowly bring everything into the base. Okay, so from the looks of it, I think this is going to be pretty secure for all my creatures. So I'm actually going to go ahead actually wait and uh, yeah i'll put i'll quickly bring a moss chops in here and just collect all these um items yes yes i can see that all right let's see if we can quickly collect all this inside the base oh oh god oh god i can see some numbers over there something is attacking me no 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 is that a pegamastix wow that Pegamastix had the, the, you know, the balls to attack this Therizinosaur. I mean, if I didn't pick up on that, it probably would have died. Uh, let's go everything neutral again. Just so they can protect themselves, because I am not losing a creature like that. Now, I'm curious about what this thing here is. I, I can't seem to attack it with my guy. I'll destroy this thatch floor. What is this thing? Is this a, a tree or something? I can't seem to collect it. Um, am I going to be stuck with this this shrub in my base? You know what? I think we will actually work around it. All right. So now it actually looks like this grass has been mown in here, and we can actually go ahead and place down these foundations without shrubs sticking up. Okay. So we've made a whole bunch of things here. So we've got forty-eight foundations at this point in time we'll see if that can actually cover the entire surface of this uh, base uh, so let's get this little enclave on this side uh, done and dusted oh we still got seven left so <laughs> that's actually wow okay um we're gonna need probably another hundred if we wanted to finish this off so yeah i think we'll leave it at that so we'll, we'll i mean we'll leave the foundation for now and what i want to do is start making the other utility things that we need for the actual base so so my level now is this I've, i usually go to 200 stamina but because of eh, i'm thinking about going more crafting skill if i'm completely honest i don't know what do you what do people think i got 300 health 150 stamina i usually go to 200 with this one but i don't know about it now 400 weight and 151 movement speed what do you think i should put these the the next what 15 points into I wonder if this guy can carry a uh, Parasears. Uh, yes? Wow. I did not expect the Argentavis to be able to carry a Parasaur. That is one powerful bird. And they're supposed to be vultures. Uh, if this thing can pick up that thing, that is definitely not the, uh, the characteristics of a vulture. Okay. Let me go ahead and actually take everything on with this bird. And we'll just leave this bird inside for a moment, bring the other two birds, and then we'll quickly start to rearrange a couple of things and just place down some uh, basics that we'll need. Okay, so we're going to be coming through here. This is going to be like a little nook. Um, I actually wouldn't mind having this as the um, refinery forge slash smithy area because it's it's in this little corner that I can at least, you know, work work with it, if that makes sense. So I thought about this. Maybe we'll go ahead and actually place the uh, smithy right in the center of this one here. Yeah, that'll be fine. So we got the smithy that's against this wall. What I'll do then is I'll take a, um, you know, thingy cabinet. Place it. Can I actually stand on the smithy? I can. Fantastic. I love it. All right. So let's just move back so I can get to this point where it's about yay there. And then place another one there. So then we got two on that side. Oh, jeez. <laughs> because this is actually open. I could jump through that. Look at that. Easy access to go through the house if I um if I angle it um correctly. But anyway, so what we'll do is we'll place another storage bin here. I mean it's gonna look weird, but I think it's gonna work. There we go. So we got the storage bin on both sides. And then 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave enough space. So let's see here. That's the center of this area here. Let's go like this. Maybe make it like that. Do one. Two. And then place the other ones there as well. So I think I can at least reach these things and then still reach this as well. Yeah, I can do that. So then they can... There we go. I like it. That's like my little refinery forge and it can keep me warm while I'm, you know, hammering away here, making the tools of war and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> oh, that looks sick. I like it. Very nice. It's like, oh, what's he doing on the other side there? Oh, just peek your head through here, scold yourself. There we go. So then that is my king size bed, which is amazing. Uh, food. We do want our food as well. Now, eventually I'll fill out the rest of this base. But, you know, I mean, these guys need a bit of a lawn to, you know, frolic about, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. This one like this. This one like that. And this one like that. So we have this huge, like, bonfire just in front of the... In front of me, specifically. Now, I've never used these cooking pots before. I just... I always go straight to the industrial cooker, but just for aesthetics and because it was free, I'm going to place it right there. All right, so both of these are pretty much covering this wall. So that can be my clothing and my weapons and all that other stuff. And then we've got one extra ch uh, chest as well. Mm, maybe I'll go ahead and just toss it here on the side. So it may be just like a random storage bin for other, you know, random stuff. Okay, so we pretty much have our little home set up. We still have other things that we need to move. And speaking of which, I still have um, a couple of these other ones. So what we'll do is we'll actually take these mortar and pestles and just uh, throw them behind here. I mean, that works perfectly fine. There we go. Excellent. So everything is very close by together. And that's going to be our little working station. So let's quickly jump on the bird and have a bird's eye view of this so okay cool so this is what the base is starting to look like I, this is not final this is literally just quickly moving everything back inside so i can have everything back inside because i do want to be more secure because i'm starting to have little things attack me as you saw before with uh, Theza. but yeah awesome now i think this space is coming along a little bit nicely we have ourselves an attacking bird which is cloud down there we have ankleta which is going to be amazing. We're going to use her to get ourselves lots of metal. And yeah, so the base is coming along. Awesome. Ah, thank you very much. Uh, guys, if you enjoyed that, do remember to hit that like button and I'll catch you in the next episode. One for all and all for one. Cheers, Musketeers.